We're in range oh, distance. Yep, we got a big lag spike. And welcome back, everybody. Yeah, welcome back, everyone. Finally made so it. So we've located the Quetzal after some minor complications. So, yeah, Charlie, try and get us in front of it. Headshots uh, guarantee more. Get uh, us in front of it and then turn around so that I can shoot at its head. Remember, you can do helicopter physics, Charlie. You can strafe. Get. Uh, uh, oh, where is it going? No. It's going up, you retard. What, I'm what talking about you? our bird. I'm trying to go up. It's not the then same helicopter physics I know. You jackass, go up. Go up. Up, you fool. No! I'm looking up. <laughs> I'm looking up. Jesus Christ, Charlie. Oh my god. That's not the same helicopter physics I'm used to. I'm sorry. Okay. I was trying to go Get, just keep straight. Keep him up. on the right. Keep him on the right of the. On the right, okay. Yeah. You know what? Just, just keep pace with him. Go forward a little. I need forward. Forward, Charlie. Okay, that's good. Keep pace. He's moving. Keep track of him. Oh, shit, he moved again. He always tries to move. He's running. He's scared. They're very skittish creatures, these Quetzals. I the hard they part is, their hitbox is... Their hitboxes are very glitchy. He's turned away again, Charlie. Gotta keep up with him. I mean, he was directly next to us a second ago. Come on. Why'd you back off? Keep your head jammed firmly in his rectum, Charlie. I could do that. Apparently cold up here. That's why I said to bring fur armor. I got it with me, I just didn't put it on. That looks like it's it, right? Nope. No. It's nowhere near down. I said it takes fifty four arrows. Keep moving, Charlie. You gotta keep pace with him. I thought I was. No, by keep pace, I mean get me as close as I can so the arrows don't miss. There, much better. Okay, now you're passing him up. Yeah, that's all that. He stopped when you shot him. You gotta get closer, Charlie. You gotta get I'm closer. I'm going as fast as this damn thing goes. There, better. His biggest hitbox is uh, is on his underbelly. Try and remain just below him. No. Hey, I saw blood that time. Much so. better. Yeah. Has to make a hit marker to count, though. Oh. There we go. Made a hit marker. So, in other words, I have to see those green numbers flash for it to count. Yeah. Yeah, this would be so much easier to do alone if I had a griffin. Sadly, we have not yet gone to any other maps for the purpose of taming their exclusive dino shiz. Come on. You had three good hits in a row there. Yeah. Let me see how his torpor is doing. We don't want him to land in the river. About the redwood forest. No, the redwood forest, uh, I don't care. Yeah, I can't read his stats from here, so we're going to have to play it by ear. 
He's gonna turn around and hover over the river. That's what they always do. This is the 50-50 glitch. Oh. He's going to stay in this position as much as he can. Why is that a 50-50 glitch, though? He always goes towards the center of the map. Why? I don't know. It's their code, Charlie. Hmm. And from... Come on. Okay, Charlie, no matter how low he goes, do not go below the tree line of the Redwood Forest. Yeah, I'm aware because of the... Um, uh, Violets. Yeah, the panther-like things that could snatch us off. What about whenever we have to land, though? When we have to land, that's the one exception. Sorry. Kind of turned sharp there. I know. He turns very sharp. Imagine how annoying this was when I did it before Griffin's. No, I'm talk no I said I turned sharp. No, he turns sharp, too. It doesn't... It's going up. Why can't you read his torpor from this position? Because apparently this thing only works at reading its torpor when I'm not on the back of a tapajara. Uh. Now... When he falls, we need to be right on his ass, because he will get attacked when he's on the ground. What happens if he falls in the river? If he falls in the river, he drowns, and we wasted out all this effort. By the way, how's the tappy stam looking? Uh, it's getting fairly low. Tell me if I, if I'm start, if I start getting too low, by the way. I can't this. tell. Oh no, my game stopped. Oh, there it goes. That is going to turn and head oh. back back towards the river. Okay, first crossbow is down. Moving on to crossbow number two. Come on! Charlie! Yeah? <sighs> Crap. What? Your M. I can tell you're probably getting pretty low, aren't you? Fairly low, yeah. Do I need to land real quick? Yeah, go ahead and land. Charlie, do not land us right next to that bear if you can help it. Try and land on the side of the mountain. Okay. Specifically the side of the mountain, because it's a little safer. Okay, Charlie, come on. Come on. <laughs> How much torpor do you think we lost with that? Probably a good bit, yeah. Gosh. Probably a good bit. This is a big animal. I mean, it's it's used to never landing. Why is it hit without giving without it actually being a hit? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes it collides with its mesh, which tells it to do the blood animation, but doesn't collide with its hitbox. Oh. Doing pretty good right here. Yeah, but he's about to turn. They never keep on the straight away forever. I don't know. Where is the center of the map? Isn't that the volcano anyway? We're about at it. Okay, we're down to 35 arrows. For some odd reason, my arrows are aiming high. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, he dropped! Down! Down! Go down! Now! Now! Where is he? Where is he? Right go, here go, next go, to go. us. <gasps> oh no! The ants! The ants! Charlie! Careful! Charlie! Do not... Uh, I'm staying back here. Charlie, fly, fly. Go up and fly. How far? Just, no, just stay up there. Okay. Okay. There's something getting No! Up. Charlie! You got him? They're both dead? Is he alive? Yes. Barely. That ruin that ruined the taming. I know, but what else are we gonna do? Well, first, you're going to stay on that tap of jar and beat the crap out of anything that looks like it's getting too good. Oh shit, this bear. I'm more concerned about the giant thing behind you that's attacking stuff. What giant thing? The thing over there by the river, on the other side of those trees from you. What giant thing attacking stuff, Charlie? There's nothing over there. Oh, that. That's an acro. Don't worry about him. He's down there. We're up here. Okay. Now, what you need to be concerned about is that bear, which is going to cause trouble for it. All so right. why don't you bite it and lure it away? Yeah, I lure it off the cliff. I can't see him, so. Charlie, lure it I off the cliff, you jackass! I am. I'm try I was trying no, to... No, he lost aggro. He lost aggro on you. Bite him again. Because apparently you don't know how to lure an animal off a cliff. No, he just lost aggro on you again. Oh my god, Charlie. I, I mean, he, he won't just walk right off the fucking cliff. Every time I do that, he loses aggro. So I'm just trying yes, to get him away. Will. He will. He literally will. Yeah, he just did. Yeah, now come back the hell over here. We got some other problems encroaching upon our bird. Here, get like, off. whatever that is yep. over there. Yeah, he don't seem. He don't seem that hungry. No, he will be. I'm killing him. I don't think we ever talk about the same thing. Maybe, yeah, he'll follow the Parasaur. At least we got elephants here. That's not good. Why? He's right on top of our tame. I do see that. I'm afraid to get too close. Drag that, hold on, drag that corpse away, Charlie. Drag the corpse away. The Dilo corpse is Charlie, to your left. Oh. I'm like, I don't think I can. Yeah, drag the corpses away, throw them off a cliff. We don't want anything attracted to the corpses. By the way, did you give him any narcotics? No, you've got them all. Oh, right. Charlie, what are you doing? Disposing of the body, because I can't get it to go off the cliff. <sighs> so I cut it up instead, and I fell off the cliff. I don't yeah. know how I'm alive. Charlie, yeah. stand the fuck still. Really, Kibbles? Really? Did you give him narcotics? Yes. You okay, Kibbles? How long's the video been? I don't know. I didn't stop my timer. I'll start it now. Kibbles, either swallow it down or spit it up. 
but what are we waiting on? We're waiting for him to be hungry. Yeah. Which will take about eight minutes. Fine. All the while, we have to defend him from literally anything and everything we can. And then I'm going to fly him back to the house. Okay. This creature will be able to carry almost anything that we would need for long distances. We could carry creatures much larger than what the Argentavis is capable of carrying and dropping it into the um, taming pen. Can also hold a large amount of... Please put that sword away. I'm nervous you're going to misclick and it's going to ruin the tame. It's already just about dead. <gasps> ah! You picked Here. me up. Um, I thought he was down there and we were up here. God. Hmm? Thank God. You can't pick up that body, can you? No, we can't pick up the body. Can the elephant take him down? I mean, the elephant did just push him down the hill. No, the elephant cannot take him. The elephant will die. But thankfully, while he's down the hill down there, he won't come right up. So as long as we keep our distance from the hill, we should be somewhat safe. Do you think he wandered up there because he saw me or something? Yeah, you got too damn close to the hill, that's why. I'm sorry. You invite the danger, and it'll come running right up the hill and kill us both. I'm gonna kill this thing. Watch my ass. Okay. It's also a bear. Or something behind you. Does he offer prime meat? Yes, he does. That's why I'm killing him. Okay. Okay. Let's hope that Argent doesn't get hungry and go for our Quetzal. Yeah. I love how taming is essentially beat the crap out of them, knock them unconscious. Did, that was quick. Yes, it was. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, I, I love how it's essentially knock them unconscious and then um, feed them. Yeah. Back to Red Ob. Yeah, I am. Here, I'll carry something with us. What? Or you take it with you. A giant ground sloth. Why? Because I can. And also because it's a level 130. You're gonna put it in the taming pen? Oh yeah, I'm gonna drop this bastard in the taming pen. Well, I think this right here would be the last episode of this session. Yeah. I don't know why my map put up. Or that way. Hey, Charlie, why no, don't you go ahead and see if you can... Oh, wait, before you leave the redwoods, go pick that red drop off the mountain if you can. Way over here? Yeah. Yeah, go pick, go see if you can get it. Just mind the tree line and make sure you aren't eaten. I can't go over there because I'm carrying a high-level creature on a very sensitive animal. 
So, I essentially swoop down and see if I can access it, right? Swoop down, hop off, and see if you can get it without being murdered by something. Looks fairly safe. Okay, then just hurry up, grab whatever's in it, and then keep moving. I'm waiting for it to come down still. Okay, then. Oh, I got parasaurs right here all around me. Yeah, that'll distract any predator that comes after you. They see a predator over the hill. How long does it take for this thing to come down? Depends on how far up it is. It is the spinning part, right? Uh... Yeah. It's so slow. Oh, it's so close, but it's so slow. Why is this so slow? Like, what the crap? Holy so crap. slow because it's a very valuable drop. I got everything out of it. Okay, good, because I'm about to leave the redwood forests to cross over the swamp. Yeah, yeah I've still got my beacon on that thing, too. Yeah, I know. That way you can find it in the off chance I get killed. Yeah, this... <sighs> You know, I I, say, I haven't sung enough praises to this um, this map thing that we got here. This beacon uh, really revolutionizes everything you need. First, it makes it extremely easy to locate the, the most choice of animals available. Yeah. And it also makes it possible to locate tamed creatures. I did not know that. Yes. It, it, Let's see here. Um, I know for a fact that there is only one creature on the map of this type. It is a lightning wyvern. So if you were to search that in the engine, it would point you directly at Red Obelisk. Why? Because there's only one lightning wyvern on the map. It's sitting at Red Obelisk. Oh. And it's mine. I know that, but I didn't know it was at Red Obelisk. I hadn't seen it. Yeah, I had it sitting in the middle of Red Obelisk because I transferred over from another map. But yeah, this thing's going to open up a lot of doors for us. I think I might be flying over you soon. Yeah, you very well may. Yep, I am. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing to note about the Quetzal, it is how unbelievably slow it is. I kind of thought it would have been a little faster. Nope. Quetzal is legendarily slow. Ah. Uh, I felt like See? it wasn't that slow earlier whenever I was trying to chase it. Wild ones are much faster than tame ones. Ah. Uh. <sighs> but yeah, this, um... This Megatherium level 130, that's a rare find right there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what, what level did, um, 
did it tame at? Uh, one o three. Mm, not bad. It it definitely took a beating from those ants and the dilos yeah. when it fell. See, this is why taming a high level Quetzal is so hard. Yeah. You have to mind everything at ground level below it and mind keeping up with it and shooting at it. Yep. So was it uh, Shift F8? Shift F8 to activate and deactivate the um, scanner. What do I press to deactivate? Just open and close it? Yeah, basically. Did you put the thing inside the taming pen? Yes. Good. Though I don't think we have what it, what we need to tame it right now. <laughs> we'll need honey. Wonderful. But I guess you did say this would be the last episode for the session. Yep. Oh. Uh, Castle in the Sky. Yes. That's not actually a bad name. I was... Well, I mean, you said we could build bases on him, and then I'm thinking of Studio Ghibli's movie. I thought you... Met, wait, Studio Ghibli... That's Hal's moving castle. No, there's also one called Castle in the Sky. Oh. Howl's moving, Howl's moving Castle isn't in the sky. It's actually on the ground. I know. There's Howl's Moving Castle. I thought that's what you meant. No, no. But, I, I mean, I guess we brought it home and we're done for this session, so. Yeah, it is a little late. Yeah. Till then, I hope y'all all enjoyed it, and we will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.